I was going to say shouldn't probably shouldn't be telling people that. Uh, no, uh, I, I can't let anyone in there just now. <sighs> there are just things in there that I would prefer to keep safe. Oh, oh no. I'll do number one, see what she says. No, of course not. I just have, I, I am in the midst of stock taking, checking inventory, and I, I can't let anyone in there in case they m mess things up. Yes. Liar. I was afraid to tell anyone. Lily was becoming a Chantry priest. She's taken vows. Lily's been given to the Chantry. She's not allowed to have relations with men. If anyone finds out, we'll both be in trouble. I should have chosen the one about the fat cow and see what would happen. I missed my chance. I wish that was the only thing I needed to talk about. Remember I said that I didn't think they wanted to give me my harrowing? I know why. They're going to make me tranquil. They'll take everything that I am from me. My dreams, hopes, fears, my love for Lily. All gone. I need to escape. I need to destroy my phylactery. Without it, they can't track me down. We need your help. Lily and I can't do this on our own. Give us your word that you will help, and we will tell you what we intend. You're... You're just walking away? It's all right, Chowan. There's always a way. We must have faith. I understand your reluctance, and I can only beg you won't violate our trust. Our lives depend on your silence. Pretend we never spoke. And if you can find it in your heart, wish us luck and pray for us. So let's see what the... First, let's look at the quest. I guess it's not. Oh, here it is. Okay, there we go. Ah, oh, so I have to tell someone of the plan after all. Yes, I'll tell you. Ah, there you are. I ran into Duncan. You seemed to make a good impression. He was pleased to have met you. Mm -hmm. You should speak to him more if you get the chance. He's a wise and learned man. Now, you haven't seen your friend Chowan since this morning, have you? I wanted to know if he was feeling all right. He, he seemed nervous when I spoke to him. He avoided my gaze and seemed ready to bolt. You wouldn't know what brought about this behavior, would you? Hmm. Let's see what I can do here. You're a close friend. He must confide in you. I was told he spoke to you at length today. Are you sure you do not know why he's acting strangely? Hmm. Let's do quite sure. I understand your need to protect your friend, so I shall make this easier. Jowin is having an affair with an initiate, is he not? 
choose no. See what happens. I may be old, but I'm not blind. Jowan is seeing the Chantry initiate, Lily. And she revealed the plans to make him tranquil. I understand why, though she should have known better. Now, I know Jowan discussed something with you today. What did he say? Jess cannot escape. So you realize Jowan is breaking the Circle's rules? I commend your loyalty. If he wishes to destroy his phylactery and escape, help him do it. I could simply report Jowan to the Templars, but Lily has also broken her vows and must face like consequences. For this, we need irrefutable proof of her crime. The Chantry will stand behind her, claiming she has been framed or is in a thrall of a blood mage. There must be no doubt in their minds that she helped him voluntarily. Tell Jowan and Lily you will aid them. Help them enter the repository. That is what they intend. We will catch them red-handed. No one will be able to dispute the severity of their crimes. No charge from me is beyond your duty to this circle. Remember your place. You must obey this order. Go. Convince them you will risk all for their cause. I will be outside the repository with a contingent of Templars. Let them see the mischief into which their initiate led our student. Perform well, and your dedication will be rewarded. Of course. Okay, let's go. going to help, leave me alone. Forgive Jowan. He can be surly. But why have you returned? Please say you've changed your mind. Really? Why? No, and I don't care. Why? I came here a year or so before you did. I must have been five or six years old. Mother stopped talking to me after I showed signs of magical ability. She wouldn't even look at me. She'd mutter under her breath that I was a demon child and an abomination in the Maker's sight. Mother could be cruel, especially if you got on her bad side, which was easy to do. She'd fight with my father, saying that she didn't want that thing, meaning me, in her house. That's what drove him to leave me at the village chantry. I suppose it's just as well. Ugh, it's the past. A rumor is spreading that I've dabbled in blood magic. That's why they won't let me take the Harold. Of course not. I never used blood magic. I've been sneaking around to meet Lily in secret. Maybe others have seen me and assumed I must be doing something forbidden. I suppose we are, but they think it's blood magic, and it isn't. Hmm. Blood magic lets mages influence the minds of others. What if someone used it to control a king or a grand cleric? Magic must serve man, not rule over him, remember? The Chantry fears this above all else. That's why the Templars, Gregor, will pay attention to a mindless rumor. She was saying the chant of light in the chapel one night while I was walking past. I've heard that chant many times, but I never realized how beautiful the words were until then. I'll never forget that night. Yeah. Why are you still here? I can't believe you're abandoning me. Um. 
Um, let's see. Really? What? Hey, I guess Why I cannot. Are you still here? I can't believe you're abandoning me. I wish there was an option to tell him that they were being set up, but there's not. We will never forget this. I can get us into the repository, but there is a problem. There are two locks on the phylactery chamber door. The first enchanter and knight commander each hold one key. But it is just a door. There is power enough in this place to destroy all of Heraldin. What's a door to mages? We have no choice. We cannot get our hands on both keys. I once saw a rod of fire melt through a lock. You could get one from the stockroom, but Owain doesn't release such things to apprentices. We should stay here. One mage at the stockroom will attract less attention than a mage, an apprentice, and an initiate. Oh, okay, let's go with that one. Good luck. Our prayers go with you. I was hoping one of them would have said something. Like snarky back at me. I guess not. So I wonder how... I'm sure Jawan would have said something about... The comment earlier about... You fell in, life, in love with the fat cow or whatever it was he said. That would have been funny though. I wish I went with that option though. Okay, here is Owen. Welcome to the Circle Stockroom of Magical Items. My name is Owain. How may I assist you? The Stockroom is not a shop. Your mentor should have clarified this. The Stockroom stores components used in magical and alchemical experiments. Do you require something? I voluntarily submitted to the right of tranquility. I was unwilling to undergo the harrowing. I find this state agreeable. Let's do the whole roundabout thing for the video, shall we? Hmm. I see the world with clarity. I remember the days when my mind was filled with inconvenient and seething emotions. Now things are simple. It is difficult to describe. I would perhaps compare it to being plunged into a pool of ice-cold water. I was ordered to never speak of it. I cannot go against the Circle's wishes. My body is similar in form to yours, possessing an equal number of limbs, appendages, and internal organs. I perform the same physical functions. My mind is capable of higher thought processes. Am I to be denied personhood because I do not feel as you do? People feel things to different degrees. One individual may be more empathetic than the next. Some are quick to anger, while others are not. Yet you would not single one out and accuse him of not being a person. My capacity to feel differs from yours but you also differ from all other beings. You are no more a person than others, and I am no less a person than you are. Uh, so... He did get kinda mad, but not really, so let's just do the number four thing. I do not have the capacity to be offended. Still, I believe I am a person. I think you got a tiny bit offended there, guy. Rods of fire serve many purposes. Why do you wish to acquire this particular item? <laughs> oh. Uh. I need the rod for my research into burning things. Ah, eh, that's funny. Let's go with that. Here is the form, request for rod of fire. Have it signed and dated by a senior enchanter. I will release a rod to you once I have the signed form.
It is procedure. I need a senior major's authorization to release an item. Thank you. I was trying to be as rude as possible there, but still, I think he got a tiny bit offended, yeah. Although he did make a lot of sense, so I was just, my character was being rude on purpose. Is that the room I needed? Oh. Yes? Senior Enchanter, Leora, in charge of the Circle's laboratory. Is there something you want? That leads to the Circle's cavern storerooms. There are caves running through the rock that the Circle is built upon. But of course, you know this. I was going to say, shouldn't, probably shouldn't be telling people that. Uh, no, uh, I, I can't let anyone in there just now. <sighs> there are just things in there that I would prefer to keep safe. Oh, oh no. I'll do number one, see what she says. No, of course not. I just have, I, I am in the midst of stock taking, checking inventory, and I, I can't let anyone in there in case they m mess things up. Yes. Liar. <laughs> because I am taking a break. I hate the musty smell of caves, and I, uh, look, I'll tell you the truth. Just keep it to yourself. There is an infestation of spiders in the caves. I don't know how they got in there, but it's probably my fault. I was promoted to senior enchanter less than a fortnight ago, and I don't want anyone to find out. They'll think I'm incompetent. Ooh. How do you number two? Well, I, I hope not. I, I mean, no. I'm a good mage. I've just been so busy with my new duties, I haven't had time to clear out the infestation. Hmm, you need a rod of fire. Interesting. Well, your proposal sounds fair. Clear out the storerooms and I will sign your form. Wonderful. Here is the key. Oh, and be careful in there. I'd really like to keep the damage done to the Circle's property to a minimum. Don't worry, lady. I've got the um, arcane bolts, and then the other one is the draining and the frost, so the nothing should get damaged with that stuff. And again, it won't get damaged in the first place because that's not how the game works. So, too bad they didn't have it where you can damage things, though. Like having bar barrels and stuff, and you can destroy them, you know, like other games do. That would be pretty funny. Especially if it's an area like this one where you cannot or you shouldn't destroy things because it'll make things worse. At least I should have enough things to get a codex maybe down here, which means more experience points. Ah, okay. I was making sure there were no hidden chests back, or any chests back there that 